so now in this discussion so in the first chapter we discussed about uh, differential amplifier in second chapter we applied the concept of differential amplifier and we designed operational amplifier and we have seen the characteristics of uh, operational amplifier ideal operational amplifier and all so in the third chapter we have seen various applications of uh, linear integrated circuits and non linear integrated circuits particularly in the application of operational amplifiers okay like uh, mathematical op what does the operational amplifier will do the mathematical operation and all so each and every application of uh, linear integrated circuit with uh, on non linear uh, applications also we have seen there so in this concept of uh, fourth chapter that is filters it is completely different and it is completely different with our previous discussion so here we will discuss about active filters in our unit 4 and we will discuss about analog multipliers and modulators so in, in our discussion so in detail if we go into the topics of our uh, new module 4 so we will discuss about the design and the analysis of butterworth active filters okay first order second order uh, low pass filter lpf see here in the on the screen lpf in the sense low pass filter hpf in the sense high pass filters okay we'll discuss about band pass filters band reject filters and all pass filters okay and we also will discuss about uh, four quadrant multipliers and we will discuss about uh, ic 1496 new application and we will discuss about sample and hole circuits so before going into the discussion of butterworth active filters or before designing and before uh, discussing the objectives of these particular active filters so what we going to see means we will first see about uh, the basic prerequisites we needed already most of you people are very familiar with the definition of filter and the, with the definition of frequency and with definition of pass band pass stop band and all most of you are studied in this type of uh, terms in your uh, signals and systems signals and systems but uh, it is necessary again we have to recall that knowledge so that means here we are going to design and we are going to analyze the butterworth filter so which is very very one of the important aspect of the active filters so in order to analyze and in order to design this particular butterworth filter what we going to do means first we, first we have to know what is meant by filter or what what are the various terms or what are the technicalities we have to see here means we have to see what what are the parameters uh, a filter do what is meant by an active filter or what is what is meant by passive filter what are the elements are there in the filter and what the, what does a filter do technically and what are the technicalities and what are the applications so this is nothing but a quite introduction class here in today's discussion so before going into this entire discussion of butterworth active filters designing and analysis so we will see the prerequisite prerequisites needed okay so first we will go through the definition of filter and next we will go through the all these types of filter specifications like uh, low pass filters high pass filters band pass filters and what is meant by this pass or pass band we call that uh, technical term as pass band what is meant by pass band so these all things will be discussed in today's class okay so that means here entire prerequisite of filters will be discussed now so if you have any queries with our discussion just as usual just pop up your doubt in the chat box we will discuss uh, on we will analyze your doubt at the end of the discussion okay so first before going into the discussion so what is meant by filter okay so a filter is nothing but a reactive network okay it is a reactive network so it, it, it which is used to allow or pass a set of set or band of frequencies or it can stop or it can reject or it can attenuate the other band of frequencies that means here filter filter it can filter it it can it can filter it or it can allow or it can it can allow allow the frequencies to pass through it okay it is a reactive network so that means here mostly filter is nothing but an frequency selective frequency selective device frequency selective device that means what are the applications of filters means so here the filter as a reactive network it will allow the signal okay it can start uh, it can stop the signal or it can reject the signal or it can attenuate the signal of other bands signal of other bands so these are the various applications of uh, filters with respect to the definition so if we see the what is meant by this uh, technical terms like pass band in the definition we said it can it can pass okay it can stop or it can reject so what is meant by pass band how can filter is having such a capability means so if we uh, what does a filter do means here in our discussion of active filters so here the filter as a reactive network it will allow the signal that means at a certain range of frequencies 
the filter can allow a certain range of frequencies that means depending upon the application depending upon the applicability only it can allow a set of signals okay depending upon the requirement okay either it may be the lower order frequencies either it may be higher order frequencies whatever it may be the different range of frequencies only it can allow the set of frequencies that set of frequencies is called as band or bandwidth most of the things are that set of frequencies or range of frequencies so we know that the range of frequencies is nothing but bandwidth right so that bandwidth is uh, named in the form as band oh, so coming into the technical term what is meant by bandwidth means a range of frequencies or a set of frequencies where a filter can pass that means a range of frequency components a certain range of frequencies components where the filter will pass through it is called as pass band okay that means a range of frequencies can pass through the filter so coming to the second technical term that is stop band name in the sense uh, we are discussing that is stop band that means a range of frequencies where the filter can reject the a range of frequencies where the filter can reject the frequencies components that is called as stop band that means the rejection of the the rejecting of frequency components up to a specific range okay those those type those type of application is called that, that type of application is called as stop band okay so these are the most of the two technical terms which we have to know when we are discussing about uh, active term active filters and other uh, butterworth filter analysis so if we see the various applications of filter where we use this applications of filter means mostly in the electronic industry in the growing electronic industries like televisions okay in, in uh, nowadays there is a wide range of uh, U UH UHD tel uh, televisions and smart televisions are coming to and in a radio applications that means in the process of uh, transmitting the signal okay and mostly in the telephone telephones also when we will discuss about the set of bandwidth applications spectrum and all so at the discussion of telephones also applications of telephone or industry also we will discuss about filters and most importantly this application of filters acto filters and whatever it may be the filter terminology though these are related to entirely with respect to satellite communications satellite communications so so these are the applications so coming into the classification of filters how can we classify the filters means depending upon the range of frequency depending upon the range of frequency of a signal so depending upon the range of frequency of a signal we can classify the signal uh, we can classify the filter okay up to an extent only the filter can handle the signal so depending upon the capability of the uh, frequency depending upon the capability of the filter which is holding that uh, frequency handling capability we can classify the filter so first type of application is af and rf af in the sense audio frequency rf in the sense radio frequency audio frequency and radio frequency filters second uh, this is a very important and traditional uh, application of our filter second application is uh, analog filters and digital filters mostly these uh, audio frequencies and radio frequencies and analog filters are the initial traditional and prime applications and prime classification of filters and later the evolution uh, evolution of the electronic industry there comes with respect to a new classification that is digital filters and uh, and uh, digital filters depending upon the application point of view depending upon the elements uh, application point of view either we can use resistors capacitors and other that means if we use a active elements for the construction of a filter that falls under the classification of active filter if we use the passive elements that comes uh, for manufacturing a filter that comes under classification of passive filters that means so first first important classification of filters is a filters and rf filters that is audio frequency filters and radio frequency filters so second applications of filters is uh, analog filters and digital filters and third application and third classification of filter is uh, passive uh, and filters and active filters so if we see one by one though what is uh, audio frequency filter and radio frequency filter classification so if we coming into the uh, fall of classification here af and rf af in the sense audio frequency rf in the sense radio frequency so here audio frequency signal how can we classify or how can we pick an audio frequency signal means in the filtration process okay in the filtration process a filter can handle only an audio frequency of 20 hertz to 20 kilo hertz okay so that type that range of frequency is called as audio frequency 
filter that means on, only the filter with a spe particular specific application of audio frequency that to a limited range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz that falls under audio frequency that is audio frequency filter okay if the filter is doing its filtering process at a particular radio frequency above 20 kilohertz that is called as radio frequency filter that means here how we are classifying the filter this is very very important how we classify the filter filter can be classified depending upon this that application depending upon the range these two parameters are very very important okay we are saying and we are classifying the audio frequency filter okay audio frequency filter why we are uh, specifying the particular specific particular thing audio frequency filter means audio frequency filter will perform the filtration of audio frequency and second important thing is it will maintain the filtration process only up to that set of frequency that is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and the inbuilt of the first classification that is radio frequency filter it will do the performance of uh, filtering the radio frequency above 20 kilohertz that is called radio frequency filter so coming into the second classification that is uh, analog and digital filters analog and digital filters so the filtration is uh, if the filter performed the filtration of filtering operation of analog signals analog signals that means if the filter if the filter perform the operation of filtering with respect to analog signals then it is called as analog signal simple so if the filter performs the fil filtration of digital signals or we use any digital technicalities that comes under digital filters okay so coming into the third classification that is passive filters and active filters so this this entire third classification is uh, depending upon the construction of filters if we use the passive elements in our construction of filter that falls under the classification of passive filter if we use the active elements in construction of a filter that falls under that falls under uh, the classification of active filter so if we see if the if the filter is a reactive network of passive elements like uh, if, if we construct a filter with respect to passive elements like resistor inductor capacitor and that is called as passive filters which we all which we just discussed if the reactive filter what we are talking about it consisting of passive components like uh, resistor capacitor along with the active components like transistors and operational amplifier that comes under active filters okay so that means here if we involve the elements like active components if we involve the elements like active components other than passive components that comes under the classification of active filters so one of the most important note and one of the most important point is passive filters are used passive filters uses electrical components like resistors capacitors and inductors only at the application of high frequencies only at the frequency uh, only at the application of high frequencies that means at the application at uh, high fre radio frequencies in the sense in the in the concept of communication and all in the concept of communication at, at the low level at below the radar level uh, below the radar level we will do the communications with respect to radio frequencies are quite enough radio frequencies are quite enough at that applications of radio frequencies that means below the radar level okay we know the entire uh, structure of uh, earth is uh, placed upon a stratosphere lithosphere and uh, ionosphere and all so below the radar below the radar we use only traditional radio frequency signals to communicate so at that application of radio frequencies at that application of radio frequencies uh, if we if we want to construct a filter if we use the electrical component like resistors capacitors and inductors so if the filter is constructed with the help of these type of uh, components like resistor capacitor inductor those are uh, used for high frequency applications mostly and strictly familiar with respect to radio frequencies but the another important thing is for the application of low frequencies for the application of low frequencies if we use these uh, inductors and all okay that makes the filter quite expensive and uh, it, uh, the, the the structure will be quite complex because of this uh, turn coils on the inductor and all so in order to increase the particular uh, quality factor and all in order to decrease this high uh, power dissipation and heating at low power applications we don't use inductors other than 
other than resistors or capacitors are used at minute level but for low power application at low frequency applications we use uh, transistors and operational amplifiers depending upon the application that means other than the radio, radio frequency applications at uh, low frequencies we involve the iq2 components like uh, transistors and uh, operational amplifiers but we don't use inductors in order to reduce the cost point of view and in order to improve the quality factor and in order to increase the audio frequency in order to increase the audio frequency application so this is about the application of passive elements and active uh, passive filters and active filters so we have discussed about three types of classifications so first one is audio frequency filters and radio frequency filters so first classification is quite restricted with respect to the range audio frequency filtration is done up to a range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz with respect to audio signal radio frequency signal filtration is done with respect to above 20 kilohertz with respect to radio signal that is radio filter radio radio filter so coming into the second one is analog filters which perform the filtration of analog signal and the digital filter will perform the signal uh, digital filter will perform the filtration process with respect to digital techniques and active filters and passive filters depending upon the construction and depending upon the application we classified uh, active filters and passive filters so if we go on to the next level that is we will discuss about uh, advantages and advantages of active filters or passive filters so what are the advantages of active filters when compared to the passive filters means here active filters that means other than the passive elements resistors and capacitors if we use uh, in, in our application like transistors and uh, operational amplifiers what will happen means the entire filter uh, entire filter size will be in an integrated form that means the size and weight is eliminated that means while the application of operational amplifier we all know that operational amplifier is a linear integrated circuit it is a combination of active elements and passive elements combined together and it is a fabricated on a single silicon wafer we studied in our definition of linear integrated circuit which we discussed yesterday in our revision okay so what is meant by linear integrated circuit it is a set of uh, it is a combination of uh, uh, active elements and passive elements combined together and fabricated on a single silicon wafer miniature circuit so because of this application of operational amplifier makes that uh, filter quite miniature and that decreases the size and that decreases the weight one of the this is one of the prime and uh, in major advantage of uh, passive filters so when compare uh, this is one of the important application of uh, advantage of active filters of or passive filters so coming into the second advantage that is the cost of ic is why very very less when compared to the passive uh, electronic uh, passive network because of this integration size is uh, less and the size of, uh, elements used are very very less and second thing is by using this type of linear integrated circuits like operational amplifiers and transistors are mostly operational amplifiers that makes that makes the filter quite cheaper okay that makes the filter quite cheaper and second thing is we know that operational amplifier is a five terminal device which can be controlled very easily okay it's having two input terminals inverting input and non inverting input and it is having two bias inputs okay two biasing inputs so depending upon the entire discussion if we see if we construct a filter in a point of operational amplifier segment so that makes the controllable function is very very easy okay and second thing is while the involving of this particular linear integrated circuits in the construction of the active filters that makes the improvement of gain and frequency okay and that means if we improve the gain and if we improve the frequency we can tune the filter very very easily when compared to the other uh, uh, resistors and uh, capacitors with respect to inductors so and most important thing is we know the one of the most important characteristics of operation amplifier is this having high input impedance and output impedance is very very low and it is mostly zero in ideal structure so if we construct an active filter if we construct a filter with respect to operational amplifier it will have high input impedance and uh, very low output impedance and that makes the active filter uh, the low uh, output loading will be very very low and the loss coefficients will be eliminated so that means these are all various uh, advantages with respect to the active filters over passive filters there are some disadvantages even when we construct these uh, 
uh, filters with the help of active elements like operational amplifiers and transistors mostly with the application of linear integrated circuits there are some there are many advantages but there are some drawbacks and setbacks with respect to the disadvantages of for this integrated circuit one of the most uh, one of the main important disadvantage is slew rate even though the slew rate of uh, operational amplifier is very very less okay slew rate is very very less that slew rate will affect the frequency response or output frequency response of the filter that is one of the important character what is that is one of the important parameter and second thing is so with the application of uh, operational amp with the application of operational amplifier active filters will have good filtering response okay so it is having a major filtering response which is achieved up to 500 kilohertz but the passive filters is having the passive filters will provide a major response a major filtering response up to 500 megahertz this is uh, another important uh, setback of which we are going while using this type of a linear integrated circuit and second thing is the sensitivity sensitivity point is one of the important aspect in construction of filters okay so if we see the sensitivity parameter if we see the sensitivity parameter in the construction of filters so here the sensitivity is very very less so because of this sen sensitivity is very very less that makes the filter because of the sensitivity is very very less that makes the filter quite uh, disturbed with respect to the temperature that means if there is any environmental change or other changes with respect to the passive filters if we design the active filter uh, active filters with the help of this linear integrated circuits so that is the uh, linear integrated circuits are quite sensitivity with respect to this uh, temperature drifts and that makes that makes the filter quite uh, low sensitive to the temperatures and second thing is the passive filters does not require any dc power supply dc power supply but these active filters which we are constructing with the operational amplifiers and linear integrated circuits must require a dc supply uh, why they require dc supply means for the biasing operation we see the biasing operation in our uh, discussion of operational amplifier for the particular operation of uh, biasing we need dc supply uh, with respect to the active elements like operational amplifiers and uh, the transistors that is one of the setback or drawback that is one of the setback and drawback so these are the advantages and uh, disadvantages so when comparing into the advantages and disadvantages point of view with, when uh, while discussing active filters or passive filters active filters is having quite uh, matured uh, advantages we can see though like uh, it is having a it, it is having quite uh, size, size point of view or performance point of view or while using the loading structures or while using the designing procedure and the design is quite simple it is compact in size it is compact in size and it is having a very less amount of loss coefficient voltage losses are significantly less but there are some drawbacks uh, while uh, certain drawbacks like using additional dc supplies and the restricting the range only up to 50 kilohertz is one of the major drawback so these are about the advantages and disadvantages of uh, active filters over passive filters so if we see the discussion in a previously we discussed about pass band and uh, stop band so if we go into the particularly classification of pass band and stop band so how can a filter be classified depending upon this pass band and stop band means so depending upon the, the pass band and stop band applications a filter can be classified into five types first one is low pass filter and second one is a high pass filter first one is low pass filter and second one is a high pass filter and third one is a band pass filter and fifth one is all pass filter so if we see the specifications and if we see the explanation one by one what is low pass filter means see here so this is nothing but an voltage gain characteristics voltage gain characteristic or uh, uh, which is drawn with respect to the decibels with respect to frequencies so if we see low pass filter low pass filter so how does the filter process the signal how this does filter process this type of signal means so if we see this entire particular structure uh, this is drawn with respect to on y axis we have voltage gain that is represented in decibels on x axis we have frequency which is represented in hertz okay so and this is an ideal uh, if we see this is a but this particular characteristics 
this particular characteristic is having a constant structure previ- at, at the at the beginning and later at, with respect to increasing of frequency there is a quite deviation with respect to the characteristic and later it is falling so this is the structure so how can we pass or how can we attenuate this type of signal through our filter so in the application of low pass filter okay so what is pass band and what is stop band okay we already discussed at the starting discussion pass band in the sense only the filter only filter will process or only filter will filter that type of signal that is pass band signal stop band signal in the sense filter will stop or filter will uh, filter does not send this particular stop band signal pass band stop band okay so at the application of low pass filter filter only passes this particular constant phase of signal see here there is a dotted line see here there is a dot, uh, see, see here this is the the center thing is this center this dotted line this inter, inner dotted line only the this is a pass band region only up to this particular set up to this particular set only up to this particular pass band region only the filter will attenuate or filter will pass the old the filter will pass the signal and after the higher order frequency so after the fi- after the higher order frequency after the higher order frequency after f sub xh the higher order frequency the entire signal will be stopped so that is the application with respect to low pass filter so coming into the second application of a high pass filter high pass filter see what is happening here in the high pass filter so if we see the particular uh, specification here so the behavior of the curve the behavior of the response curve is increasing linearly it is increasing linearly when the frequency is increasing and the voltage is increasing the curve is also having a linear structure and it is increasing and are after after having after holding the upper so after having the higher order frequency f sub x h here so this is the higher order frequency region after uh, holding the higher order frequency after achieving the higher order frequency the behavior of the characteristics is having a constant structure the behavior of characteristic is having a constant structure so here high pass filter high pass filter will allow only this particular practical high pass band okay only this high pass band is processed through the filter and entire below the high pass filter or below the higher order frequency uh, signal which is quite linear in nature that is stopped okay so that is the difference with respect to the low pass filter and high pass filter so coming into the third one is band pass filter band pass band pass filter that means band pass filter will allow only a set of frequency consistency or set of frequency components which is flowing through it so band pass filter if we see the band pass filter see here this is having a this characteristic is having quite a droop in structure that means here entire characteristic is uh, divided into uh, a range that is this is the lower order frequency the initial range is lower order frequency range and later range is higher order frequency range that means in between the characteristic in between lower order frequency and higher order frequency is is uh, is observed as pass band region only this region will be passed through the filter only this region of pass band is passed through the filter and this stop band region and this particular stop band region is eliminated only the ideal structure see here the ideal structure which is lied in between or the only the practical structure which lied in between lower order frequency and higher order frequency is filtered through the filter so this is the application of band pass filter okay so coming into the next application that is band rejection filter band rejection filter so here band rejection filter in the sense so this band rejection filter is quite uh, different with respect to the previous terms one second
so band rejection filter so this band rejection filter is quite uh, different from other te technicalities so here what we are saying means we are splitting the frequency response if we see the frequency response which is drawn between voltage gain and uh, frequency so the entire frequency response is splitted with respect to lower order frequency and higher order frequencies higher order frequencies so only we are, if we see the constant bandwidth a constant band a pass band is observed here and up under the low pass uh, under the lower order frequency and again and and again the pass band is observed above the higher order frequency that means here that means the region below the lower order frequency and the region above the higher order frequency as described or observed as pass band and other thing is uh, it observed as stop band only the pass band region and under the lower order frequency and only the pass band region under the higher order frequency is forwarded to the filter and entire region will be stopped okay so this is our discussion with respect to this is our discussion with respect to the classification of uh, low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter and uh, band rejection filter so there is an another classification that is all pass filter so all pass filter in the sense it, this is the peculiar application peculiar application strange application where all in all filters in all fil in all filters it allows all frequencies of the signals that means all pass filter is a particular application it provide a phase shift between input signals and output signals that means it is delivering a particular phase shift it is holding a particular phase shift in between input signal and output signals but uh, most important thing is the amplitude okay the amplitude of input signal and the amplitude of output signal has to be same okay only when the amplitude of input signal and amplitude of output signal is same only at that condition only the filter will we filter will allow the if filter will allow the frequency range will pass through it okay so most of the thing this type of uh, all pass filter is called as phase shifter or uh, delay equalizer why it is called as phase shifter or delay equalizer means so first we ha it has to test the amplitude of uh, input signal and as well as amplitude of output signal if the amplitude of input signal and the amplitude of output signal is quite same and quite familiar if the amplitude of input signal is equal to the amplitude of output signal at that condition only filter this all pass filter will send the frequency signal pass through it okay so that is about all pass filter so so up to now we discussed about uh, various applications of uh, filters like uh, band uh, low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter all pass filters and all okay band stop filter and all so with respect to the discussion of filter so how the filter is made so filter is made with filter is a reactive circuit filter is a reactive circuit it is made up of active elements and passive elements so for higher higher order frequencies it is strictly made up of uh, resistive capacitor and inductive elements for high frequency applications for low frequency applications we eliminated the inductor and we have added uh, this uh, operational amplifier and other uh, transistor application of linear integrated circuits so here that means here the filter is a combination of active elements and passive elements like the linear integrated circuit it is a combination of active elements and passive elements which is segregated on a, a silicon paper filter is also filter is also a combination of active elements and passive elements so what does the filter do means so filter will process the signal depending on the application it will pro if, if it is a low pass filter it will process lower order frequencies if it is a high pass filter it will process higher order frequencies so depending upon the application depending upon the installation segmentation the filter will deliver its application so how can we analyze a filter means so observing the transfer function of the filter by observing the transfer function of filter so transfer function is, is defined as a laplace uh, transform of output with respect to input so here also transfer function is of filter is delivered with respect to output voltage v0 of s divided by input of s so if we see the transfer function with respect to laplace orientation 
so that means here the magnitude magnitude with respect to angle magnitude is represented with respect to h of j omega angle is represented with respect to angle phase difference that is angle of h of j omega so here what is this pers per uh, perspective of uh, analyzing this uh, transfer function means in order to observe the frequency response curve in order to observe the frequency response curve or a gain response curve okay whenever it is uh, filter is having its performance whenever the filter is delivering or its uh, performance we have to observe the frequency response and gain behavior so entire frequency response and gain behavior is observed with respect to it is specified with respect to a range that means the frequency uh, the filter performance is observed with respect to rate of change of gain in a stop band of filter depending upon the order of filter that means depending upon the order of filter we can see the behavior of gain and we can see the filter performance also so if it is a first order first order filter it is a basic filter it is having basic filter it is having a gain response up to 20 decibels per uh, dec and if it is a second order filter it is having a uh, gain change with respect to 40 decibels per dec and if it is a third order decibel that is having a 60 decibel gain is having up to 60 decibels per second so for an nth order nth order if we see uh, the gain changes with respect to a multiple of 20 of n times uh, decibels per uh, deck so for a first order filter the gain it is reduced for similarly if we go to the lower order so gain again reduce it to 20 decibel for first order and at lower order second at lower second order the gain it uh, again drop it to 40 decibels per deck and at third order uh, lower order that is the gain is dropped to minus 60 for nth order again the gain is dropped to tw minus 20 multiple of nth order decibel per deck that means here how can we specify this means if we take the ideal low pass filter if we take the ideal low pass filter and if we compare that ideal low pass filter with respect to practical low pass filter so this ideal low pass filter will act like a bridge for our uh, this ideal low pass filter will act like a bridge so if we see here uh, i am showing here so this is the ideal low pass filter this uh, dotted red line is the ideal low pass filter and practical low pass filter has to be like near to this uh, region near to this region so this is a practical low pass filter so the range will oscillate in between ideal low pass filter and low practical low pass filter in a multiplication of 20 decibel per deck okay so here if we see if it is beyond uh, the practical filter that is 20 decibel per sec 40 60 if it is below uh, the practical low pass filter it is having uh, 20 minus 20 decibel minus 40 and minus 60 as we discussed here in the as we as we discussed here as we discussed here in the nth order uh, terms I, I, above uh, ideal low pass filter and uh, below low pass filter yellow low high, high pass filter and above low pass filter that means how can we design this uh, nth order and how can we design this I, uh, ideal low pass filter means the order of the filter becomes increased with respect to practical frequency response that means which is close to the ideal frequency response that means in order to obtain a practical frequency response or closer to the practical frequency response or to the ideal frequency response we have to see this type of uh, analysis of uh, we have to see this uh, nth order response so if we are familiar with respect to the nth order response we can clearly uh, we can clearly define or we can clearly distinguish what type of filter it is either it is an lpf low pass filter or it is an high pass filter whatever it may be depending upon the order specification that means depending upon the gain behavior depending upon the frequency behavior we can define or we can classify the type of filter depending upon its specific application okay so specific application so this is up to the discussion today so this is up to the discussion today so in today's class so what we discussed means we discussed about uh, filter definition filter is nothing but uh, it is it is nothing but a reactive network which will allow a set of frequencies or it will stop or it will reject or it will attenuate okay so uh, next we defined about uh, passband and next we discussed about uh, 
next we discussed about stop band okay and next we have seen various applications of filter to in, in various fields like uh, televisions radios and uh, telecommunications uh, satellite communications and next we classified about filter audio frequency applications of filter radio frequency applications of filter depending upon the range and next we next we classified about analog filters and digital filters active filters and uh, uh, active filters and uh, reactive active filters and passive filters depending upon the construction point of view we have also explained the advantage what happens if we involve uh, active filter active components like uh, transistors operational amplifiers the size will be very very less the operation will be boosted the loss coefficient will be less and the loading will be very very less and all there are also certain drawbacks uh, when compared to the active elements with respect to passive elements that also we discussed about so drawbacks like uh, limitation of ranges temperature sensitivity and ed access additional usage of dc supply and all and next we discussed about the classification of pass band and stop band uh, application classification of filters depending upon pass band and stop band we discussed about low pass filter and how can in a low pass filter how the pass band is identified and how a pass band is stop band is identified pass band is identified depending upon the constant structure of the frequency response whatever it may be the uh, whatever it may be the characteristic either it is a low pass filter here we observed the constant structure and that is passed through the filter that is identified as pass band similarly happened with respect to high pass filter so this is a constant structure this is a constant structure and this is identified with respect to pass band and the remaining thing is eliminated as stop band and next we discussed about pass band filter and next we discussed about band rejection filter and next we uh, and next we analyzed about phase shifter or uh, delay equalizer that is nothing but all pass filter so what actually happens in all pass filter means so if the input signal is e input signal magnitude is same as output signal magnitude that is called as uh, all pass filter or band equalizer or uh, sorry phase shifter or delay equalizer so next we analyzed about the order of uh, that means next we analyzed about frequency response gain margins of uh, in uh, order of the filter okay so this is up to our discussion today